Okay, I'm gonna talk about the transaction processing system, decision support system, executive information system. So transaction processing system is a way of computing that divides work into individual and visible operations called transaction. A transaction processing system is a software system or software hardware combination that supports transaction processing. Transaction processing system is an information processing system for business transactions involving the collections, modification, and retrieval of all transaction data. The history of transaction processing system was labor made by in IBM for American Air Airlines, which became operational in 1970. So these are the list of TPS. First is IBM Transaction Processing Facility. Second, IBM Information Management System. IBM Customer Information Control System. Tuxedo, Univac, Univac, Baroque Corporations, Digital Equipment Corporation, Transaction Management Executive. Next is the processing types of transaction processing system. First is the batch processing system, real-time processing system, and transaction processing system. Batch processing system is execution of a series of programs on a computer without manual intervention. Second, real-time processing attempts to guarantee an appropriate response to a stimulus or request quickly enough to affect the condition, conditions that cause the stimulus. Third, transaction processing is a type of information system that collects, stores, modifies, and retrieves the data transaction of an enterprise. So the next topic is all about the decision support system. Decision support system is an information system that supports business or organizational decision-making activities. Decision support system tends to be aimed at the less well-structured, under-specified problem that upper-level managers typically face. Next, decision support system attempts to combine the use of models or analytic techniques with traditional data access and retrieval functions. Decision support system specifically focuses and features which make them easy to use by non-computer proficient people in an interactive mood. And decision support system emphasize flexibility and adaptability to accommodate changes in the environment and the decision-making approach of the user. Next is the decision support system taxonomy. The, the taxonomies of DS, DSS are communication driven, data driven, document driven, knowledge driven, and model driven decision support system. A communication driven decision support system enables cooperation supporting more than one person working on a shared task examples called integrated tools like like google docs next is data driven decision support system emphasizes access to and manipulation of a time series of internal company data and sometimes external data Next is a document-driven decision support system management manages, retrieves, and manipulates 
and structure information in a variety of electronic formats. Next, a knowledge-driven decision support system provides specialized problem solving, critics, stored as facts, rules, procedures, or similar factors like interactive decision trees and flowcharts. Next, the last one is a model driven, emphasizes access to and manipul manipulation of a statistical, financial, optimization, and simulation model. So the components of decision support system are database, the model, and the user interface. The classification are inputs, user knowledge and expertise, outputs, decisions. Inputs, factors, numbers, and characteristics to analyze. User knowledge and expertise, inputs requiring manual analysis by the user. Outputs, transform data from which DSS decisions are generated and the, and the last one is decision results generated by DSS based on user criteria so the last topic we're going to talk about is execution information system Ex executive rather executive information system is a decision support system used to assist senior executives in the decision making process. The components of executive information system are hardware, software, and user interface, and telecommunication. And the applications of executive information system are manufacturing, marketing, and financial. The advantages of executive information system are easy, easy for upper level executives to use. Extensive computer experience is not required in operations. Provides strong drill down capable capabilities to better analyze the given information. Information that is provided is better understood. Executive information system provides timely delivery of information. Management can make decisions promptly. Next, improves tracking information. And the last one is offers efficiency to decision maker. The disadvantages of executive information system are system dependent. Limited functionality by design, information overload for some managers, benefits hard to quantify, high implementation cost, system may become slow, large, and hard to manage, need good internal process for data, next may lead to less reliable and less secure data, and the last one is excessive cost for small companies. So that's the end for the discussion, guys. Thanks for watching.